Hi folks, it's me, Brandon Johnson. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to tie your dock lines on your boat. Let's do it. What it really means to live life golden. Before we get into doing this, thought I'd ask you a little favor. I sell boats here at Heartland Marine. This channel, Use Boats TV, is to show boats as well as to make how-to videos. So do me a favor. If you like what you see, be sure to like or subscribe to my channel. You can do that two ways. Click below, hit subscribe, or wait to the end. I've got a kick-ass in-screen song. kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, and you can just click my face right in the middle. So, with the dock line, of course, you have two ends. One has a circle built into it like this. Okay? So to use this end... It goes through the middle of the cleat. So keep it together, put it through the middle of the cleat. Once you pull it up, pull it through the middle, just spread it, goes around the cleat, pull tight. Just like that. Okay? That part's easy. Some people get tripped up by what do you do with the other end? So you just have your other end of your rope. Come around the cleat, make one full circle. Okay, around the cleat, one full circle. Now, with your extra, all you do is turn a loop over. Okay, you can do underhand to overhand, turn a loop over like this, pull it tight, do it again. Overhand, underhand, pull it through. And when you do that, You've got a super tight knot. It's called a clinch. So let me step back here. Go ahead and show it. This is tight enough to where it's not going anywhere. Just like that. Now, with your extra dock line, let's talk about how to braid your ropes. So with your extra rope, it's always kind of good boating etiquette so you don't have your dock line strung all across the dock. Or you can also do it when you put your ropes away. To braid your dock lines, which is a big one that people always want to know how to do, turn a loop over. So just make a circle and just pull a half circle through, okay? So you'll just keep doing that, pulling a half circle through your circle, half circle through your circle. And what that allows you to do is pull it right back out. With the end of your rope, if you were to pull it all the way through, every one of these becomes a knot. And you don't want that. So all you're doing is pushing. You can use this finger, your wedding ring finger, to pull through the circle. Now I'm left-handed, so I may do things a little backwards. But just pull a loop through a loop, loop through the loop, just like that. With your extra line, just leave it out. Because if you pull it through again, every one of these becomes a knot. So you can watch how easy this is to undo. And what I'm not saying that how I do it is the best way. I'm just saying that my way works pretty damn good. Let's do it. So it may have broke the rope, but it did not take apart my knot. Okay, that's never coming off. Models popping bottles! Hey!